All right, let's finish up 5-2 um, with an example with more than one triangle. So we have a room in a hotel. Here's our hotel room. It has an angle of elevation with the Eiffel Tower. We can pretend we're traveling to Paris right now. And we get this angle right here. 17.5 degrees. And we get a right triangle. So I'm going to draw it without the picture just because there's a lot going on. And we actually don't know anything about this triangle yet. So we don't know the sides yet. We'll come back to that. And then we also go street levels. So that would be from the street. The angle of elevation to the Eiffel Tower is 21.4. So we get one more right triangle. And then this one, we at least know the height is 1063. The height of the Eiffel Tower is 1063 feet. And we want to find the distance from the midpoint of the hotel, or sorry, the distance from the hotel to the midpoint of the tower. And then we also want to find, so that would be this one, what letter? Let's call that X. So those would both be X, for, like X for horizontal. So we want to find that. And then we also want to find out how tall is the hotel building. So that's maybe like part of the triangle. So we'll come back to the height after. All right, so let's maybe find x first. So I would probably use tangent because I have opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 21.4 degrees is opposite, 1063 over adjacent. And so we'll get 1063 over tangent. 21.4 is x. So cross multiply or Multiply by x and then divide. And we'll just use this on the calculator. And I get x is about 2,712.5 feet. So that would be the distance from the hotel to the Eiffel Tower. And so that's actually true for both of the triangles because they both have the same length on the bottom. And so if I want to find the height of the hotel, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the height of the top triangle and then I can just subtract from 1063. Hopefully that makes sense. So I think for this next one, I'll also use tangent. Let's call this one Y, All right? Y and then we'll find the difference after. So I'll use tangent again. So tangent of 17.5 is opposite over adjacent. Twenty seven point five. Let's just double check. Yeah. Um, I like to write degrees when I'm using degrees as a reminder. So we'll multiply and we can use the calculator. All right, we can't really do this without a calculator because it's not on the unit circle. It's not a standard angle on the unit circle. And we get y is about 855.2 feet. If you're getting different numbers, you might be in radians. And we're almost there. So that tells me the top half is 855.2. So then the height of the hotel would just be the difference. So if you did not have a picture on this one, it would be almost impossible. So 1063 was the whole Eiffel Tower. We'll subtract that top piece. And the difference is the height of the hotel. And we get about 207.8 feet. So we just want to get comfortable with drawing images of what's going on. Um, identifying maybe more than one triangle and more than one relationship. So keep track of the different angles. We can use trig on multiple triangles. Um, so yeah, get some practice in.